What's up guys, Jacob Rothenberg here, bringing to you a brand new video on Kindle self-publishing. What I want to do today is something different from the past few videos that I've recorded that were kind of presentation style. Now we're going back to the good old online screen cap, online recordings of, hey, your favorite, keyword research and analyzing a keyword. What I have here today is a keyword that people could look at and pass it up because they might not see it as profitable. What this will show you is how to navigate around a semi-saturated keyword, how to analyze it and see where opportunities are for you to possibly make an entry for it and how to make money. Because hey, unless you're me and you just know all the good freaking keywords out there, you're gonna find decent keywords and you're gonna publish a book for it and not really know how to maximize your opportunity for such a keyword. So this is something that I found kind of randomly and I was looking at it, I was like, huh, well, these two books here heavily dominate, but there's other books around with a few reviews that seem to rank well. So it kind of gave me an idea like this might be worth something researching into. That being the keyword self-help books for single moms. So without a doubt, I mean, I haven't really even looked at this keyword yet at the time of this recording. But if I were to look at this with 131 reviews, I mean, it's a given that it's going to sell at least decently well. Yeah, it does, uh, given that it's published about a year ago. It does well. And uh, for the price of $12.99 for a Kindle f version, I think it's really high. Uh, hey, it looks like it sells maybe one copy every two weeks or so. So, um, And I know why it's set up as $12.99. So, random ass fact for you anything done by a big publisher oftentimes the ebook the kindle version is set at a high price so that people are instead diverted to buying the paperback why that is i haven't really checked into it i don't care <laughs> but just know that like, this is not something you should really ever do with any of your single title books always price it at 2.99 or even 99 cents but yeah the sales for this are made in paperback, not so much on Kindle, but wait, there's an audiobook version for Audible. So this is considered to be, by the way, obviously for self-help, huge niche, right? So with that, we're looking at a subset of self-help, self-help books for not just moms, single moms, okay? So that gets it really more exact with what we're looking for in the whole skew of self-help but check this out this book has for the entire category of single parents a ranking of number 16 for audiobook that's pretty darn good and for all of the books out there in the world about divorce you know there's going to be a ton of them this is ranked number 72 that's really good and for motherhood 173 now of course are we going to ever be really so-called competing against this book no, probably not. You're not going to ever beat this book. Let's keep it real here. But let's see here why there's this number two entry with four reviews. One review is a one star. <laughs> and this is the Badass Single Mom Survival Guide, 21 Life Hacking Tips, published about a year ago. Let's take a look. So at the price of $6.99, so long as it's selling, it probably flies like, okay, it, it has signs of life with a ranking of 461,000 for the paperback. That's about one copy sold maybe every two days. For something that's 56 pages, done a year ago, with like four reviews, one of which probably says that this book is shit, that's pretty damn good. Like, if you had a better book with maybe 130 pages or so with 20 solid reviews, okay, the single moms would be uh, diverted to your book instead of this one. So, despite this one, not really have it's got a good, nice cover. I'll give it that. Description doesn't really give much away as far as like why I should buy this book. It's just like what this book is about, not like how I'll benefit from reading this. Um, yeah, you, you, this publisher could have done a better job. And note, this is from a self-published author. Okay, so you can definitely beat this book. Likewise, this actually does decently well on Kindle 
at the price of three ninety nine. What does that tell you? Again, signs of life. There are signs of life that single moms are purchasing the paperback and they've purchased the Kindle version for a shitty ass book out here. All right, so that right there kind of gives away that a self-published author can do at least moderately well, maybe make back their return on their investment with like 52 pages. That's like what? Spending 120 bucks, maybe 150 bucks with a cheap writing company. Dude, you can make that like a month back. Like, that's so easy. I'm going to skip this for the reason that it's 125 reviews done by a real big time publisher. I'm not going to mess with that. Let's keep looking at other other books that we could realistically compete against. Okay? This one's got 22 reviews done from two years ago. Suddenly single. 52 messages of hope, grace, and promise. All right. This one does do well on paperback. Sells about one copy per day, maybe <laughs> one copy every 36 hours or so. So it, it does well at the price of $8.92 on a list price of $14.99. So this publisher makes royalties based off of $14.99, and the customer gets to buy this at $8.92. Okay? For the Kindle version being at $14.99, I doubt this sells any copies at all. Shouldn't. And it doesn't. Good. So again, Signs of Life. This is a, what? Okay, 240-page book on a 5 by 7 trim. Okay, it's a real-length book. It does well. And yet, it's not something unbeatable. You can compete against this book. So, I mean, I, I, I'll just do one more to prove my point that there's Signs of Life. For a book that's over 10 years old, it's 12 years old. At 1424 for the paperback, let's take a look. I doubt it does well, but single uh, single parenting that works. Okay, I like the title premise. It does really well. Hey, better than the rest on paperback. Okay, 200,000. So, and with that, let's take a look at hardcover. Just, just because, why not? Doesn't do well, that's fine. And then the Kindle version at 999. Doesn't do well at all, but the paperback does well. So what can we deduce from what we've seen even thus far for the first few entries? Let me show you a trick. What ranks well for the keyword term self-help books for single moms? What do you need to have in your title? Think about it. Okay, see what the rest had that maybe the others don't? Okay, you need to have a single mom in the title of your book. Preferably one of the first words that come up for your title has to be single mom. Just helps with the ranking algorithm. Second, what solution, what angle can you take to be profitable with this keyword for a paperback. What seems to sell to single moms in the format of a book? Okay, it's tips, messages of hope, keys to raising children. Okay, so this is for advice, help, suggestions, and recommendations for single moms. That's what's going to sell to single moms. What That's what they're looking for when they search for this key term. Okay? So if you wanted to publish for this, you would have to come up with a book that is about advice and tips for single moms. Other than that, and what sells well? Paperback. What's a missed opportunity here? Maybe two missed opportunities. Again, I'll let you think about it. Okay. <laughs> Number one, we saw that the Kindle version for this book, as shitty as it is, at three ninety nine, sells pretty well on the Kindle store, whereas its competitors are priced way too high for the Kindle version, thus leaving you an opportunity to be doing well for the Kindle version on this keyword at the price point of two ninety nine or even three ninety nine if you wanted to. There's demand for it. This proves it. Okay. Second opportunity, 
audiobook. I've said this in prior videos. This is a big time publisher. They're smart. They have the audiobook version. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. Opportunity, ladies and gents, audiobook. So that right there is a third income stream for your content on Amazon for this title that can make you money. Okay? So with that, I'm not promising that this keyword is going to make you thousands and thousands of dollars per month. That's not possible <laughs> for something like this. But I could see myself publishing for something like this and making $200 to $300 per month for at least a year. Probably long term because it's something that's evergreen. It's a, a, a for a, a, a problem for a demographic for a keyword that people are going to be looking for that are not that is not based on a short-term trend or fad. I mean, there's always going to be single moms, and single moms are looking for advice. They're going to be looking at for it in the format of a book, and they're looking for tips and advice on how to make buy. So, I would not suggest this for a super new publisher. I mean, if someone were to like go into this and like look at books it's like oh I don't really see what to do all the Kindle versions don't do well well okay I just showed you how to look for opportunity right so if you're an intermediate level publisher you might have spotted this and known about it unlikely because you didn't publish for it but someone like me who can see where to go into this I could do well and so if you want to publish for this book rewatch the video see what I what I uncovered for this keyword and you can do well too that's it for now. Send me guys some ideas for what you want in the form of videos for keyword research, keywords you want analyzed, profitable or not, hit me up, comment below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Later.